Hello and welcome to Access Studio. I'm Nancy Josimondo and today I'm in Palm Springs, California here at the Back Street Art District to have a look at some local artists. Come have a look. I've chosen the flowers from Georgia.
to he he did it through this machine, which is and then these screws back here are actually uh, leaning against the, the cutter.
game. You all, anybody, please choose a piece of art that you like from this wall, and I will cut it out. You can take it out. Look at the artist, I think his work's amazing, I'll follow up to my house. <laughs> and I'm Stephen, by the way. If you have any questions, I'd be able to help. I almost want to touch that to make sure it's not real. You know, it's, what, some people think it's just a photograph. And yeah. yeah. it's just, I mean, love the way it came out. So we started, we did a whole series. And some of those, you know, are our, like, you know, and this is my friend Kim Garretson. How you doing? I'm, I'm well. Nice to see you. Are these your new pieces? Yes, these are my assemblages. Um, I find all my artifacts at thrift stores and then I combine them into new uh, um, art pieces. This is Let's Get This Party Started. Oh my goodness. It actually so works as an ice bucket. This is called Bloody. Bloody Mary, oh dear. And this is called Scaling Mount Martini, and it's collectible porcelain shoes scaling a mountain for hand-painted artist martini glasses. That is fabulous. And there's more work back here. Yeah, this is Harvey's bringing the booze, and this is a woodworker's handmade motorcycle with a Harley Davidson Barbie. She's pulling a, a wagon with mini booze bottles. This is called Keeping an Eye on Your Good Stuff. Vintage decanters, 1930s dinnerware. And it has an owl theme. So fun. This is a 1980 ceramic John Deere cookie jar. Back here, cargo cocktail plane, powered by jiggers. And then when you lift this off here, there's bar tools inside. That's Barbie's a bucket of booze drone delivery service. <laughs> this is my favorite piece, Mexican road trip. It's an El Patron clear-sided suitcase. At the end of your Mexican road trip, when all your tequila is spent, your last flask is a, is a coffin. <laughs> Batman's bringing the bourbon. This is my mink ice bucket. Interesting backstory. Merritt Oppenheim, yes. a friend of Picasso's, yes. did this yes. I know cup, that saucer, piece. and teaspoon, which is now at MoMA, called Object. Mm -hmm. So my mink ice bucket is Ice Object. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this piece with the camera. So that's a decorative camera, not a real camera, but it comes with brand new Jack Daniels gold medal shot glasses. And then one final piece, Nancy. 
This is called the Driftwood Dive Bar sign, and it's going to hang over the home bar of my buyers in their Los Angeles uh, home. I'm at the Art Jobs Studio Gallery, and the next artist I'm going to introduce you to is Rick Denahanian. Oh, Rick, nice to see you. Are you there? Nice to see you, too. And awesome. This is younger me. Why don't you show me some of your new work? See, I'd love to. I'm doing a lot of work with numbers. And the ones in this series, and we'll see a bigger piece on the, on the side, those numbers are 200 years old from General Store and the Catskills. There's a recognizable lady. We love Marilyn. We love Marilyn. Yeah. Marilyn. Yeah. Okay. Maybe twice the number series, this is, um, this is a photograph uh, on a light table. Uh, pen and ink is a medium with um, Prismacolor for the color and a lot of Photoshop. Fun. <laughs> uh, and this newsprint is collaged on with 23 karat um, silver leaf from uh, that had sleeves that said made in occupied Japan. Made in occupied, made in occupied Japan. So, Interesting. Yeah. And what about these? These are more of the numbers? More than the numbers. That looks so familiar, that 50 cents. It just looks like something I've probably seen. The numbers are just classic that make you feel good. And you can tell I have a fascination with all lights. I like Me to bring too. them. I like to bring them forward. Vintage is so celebrated in Palm Springs. It is, it is. You're lucky. Great details. So these pieces can sit, hang separately, but they were uh, painted and designed as a triptych. All three. This piece is four feet by six feet. It's actually three separate, uh, three separate art forms which I built. Um, they're attached together right now. Um, this was the first one. Using using my new number collection from 100 years ago. Um, and a lot of color. This was the second piece that I did. Uh, I have an intense love of the comic Tintin. And um, this was homage to Tintin, along with the comic strip. I have the original, original books. Um, my husband and I were very much honored to work with Madonna. He was her doctor and I was uh, a core fitness trainer for her dancers. So this was our, we did a little setup. This was our, our tour book and our backstage passes. And Is that her up there? I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> and there are doodles in here, but this is her birthday. Next day. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. This is quite a lovely space. How long have you been here? Um, I opened this space in September, but I had a space across the street for two years. Nice. Can you tell me a little bit about this work? Yeah, so one of the things that's been so interesting, I've lived in the desert now for three years, is I'm feeling like I'm starting to get more and more of the desert showing up in my work, the boulders, the colors. Um, and I'm really interested in making complex work so that every time that you look at it, you see something different, but also that has kind of areas of calm so that you can be meditative as you're, as you're looking at it. You want to come see the studio? Absolutely. I'd love to. So I'm very lucky I have this huge studio space and classroom. This is where I work, and you can see that some of my tools, um, I work with long sticks. So you can put down a big canvas and, and work on it on the floor. And um, so I start on the floor in a kind of like a kindergartner, just playing and seeing what happens. And then I start to edit it, and then I move up to this height. And so I'm a little bit closer to it. And then I move to the wall so that I can back up from it and get close to it. And I continue to edit it and try not to lose the freshness of the first start. So these are works in progress. Yes. 
And I have a classroom as well in the back, so periodically I do teach. Who has trees? Thank you. I'm very proud of that one. Yeah? Yeah. I can see it would be one of your favorites. Just yeah. This is pretty nice over here, too. This yeah. It's got has a, good a lot of good stuff going on there. Yeah, I'm really always uh -huh. trying to keep that good energy in the work. Uh huh. Yeah. It's got a very elusive space. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need like full 30 in the I wanted to just say goodbye to Rosie for this. Thank you. And you saw my fundraiser? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for visiting and follow me on Instagram. I will. Bye. Bye. And then, um, and glass, and then a little bit of wire and carbon steel um, screen, mm. which is not what you put in your window. Right. It's used in industrial. And then this is uh, vintage reclaimed cedar, mm. and then um, acrylic with canvas on a piece of birch mm -hmm. And assorted screws and nuts and bolts. Now, Christine Anderson. Hi, Christine. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. This is so beautiful. So Thank you do mixed media assemblage work. I do, and um, one of the things that inspires me is uh, building materials. I was in the building trades for 20 years, although I'm a trained fine artist, and uh, the constraint that I employ is only those materials and very little fine art materials. I love to elevate each of these seemingly mundane materials into something other than what they were originally intended to do. So I use a lot of things like lath wire and oriented strand board house wrap paper, I incorporate graphite, and all the things that are used to put a house or a building together. The fasteners, um, and sometimes discarded scrap that I can find. I love it. All the time elevating it and making it say something else. These are all the things that we never see once a building or a structure is completed. So I'm bringing them out and giving them a new purpose. That's really nice. This is beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for showing me your work. Yeah, thank you for asking about it. Thank you for tuning into Access Studio today. I hope you enjoyed this episode here out in Palm Springs and that you'll tune in next time. If you're interested in any of the artwork shown in this video, please see the closing credits for the artist's contact information. Thanks for watching.